a familiar face is back with the Singapore national team. Almost six months since announcing his international retirement, Baihaki Kaizan has made a U-turn on his decision and is a lion once again for the country's upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Okay, so by let's go back to the 7th of March of this year when you made the announcement of your retirement. Why did you make that decision in that moment of time? You know, Dang, as a player, you know, obviously when when you had your you were, you were having your seasons and stuff, um, you know, there will be a time that you start thinking whether what when will it end, you know, uh, whether it be the club or be it international level. So. At a certain point of uh, your career, you will, you will start to gauge that maybe, maybe one of those might end. Sometimes, you know, the, the surrounding around you, uh, you, can, you can feel that, uh, that some, it's like somebody is telling you it's time, you know. So, uh, I discussed with my family and I thought that, okay, I, I think that's the best decision, uh, you know, for myself and my family and continue with uh, the Thai League. I know that head coach Tatsuma and the team manager Eric Ong came over to Trat FC to see you. What did they say to you to change your mind? Oh, to be honest, I was surprised, man. They, when they called me three days before, uh, actually one, almost a week before they came, I was so surprised that... I mean, I knew that the build-up was going to this subject, you know. But, okay, I, I was thinking more of, more of how to host them because it's... There's nothing in trust, you know, it's, it's very tropical. It's, <laughs> I just don't know where to bring them for eat or whatever, you know. So, okay, I managed to, to, to get a list of, um, of itinerary la, for them. You know, when that question came out, it's like, because I never say no before, you know, it's difficult to say no. And being, looking at him coming to trust all the way, I mean, that alone, like doesn't allow me to say no. Like, you know. I, the, the only thing that I can pay my respect back to him is to, to say yes and to come back and assist him whichever way I can. You have already achieved 134 caps for Singapore and now with an opportunity to add to that. What does it mean to you to play for Singapore and wear that badge on your chest? I feel like, like reborn again. <laughs> like, like I feel refreshed. But at the same time, I feel like I com I'm coming back for reservists. Uh. <laughs> that feeling, uh, you know, like um, okay, this time around, I know, I know what's going on. I know the boys. I know the the environment here. So it's just it's just about now coming back. Just want to enter the zone, and if I'm given minutes, just give my best. If not, then just support the back stuff and whatnot. So I think I, I feel more fresher this way. I feel more like there's nothing on top of my shoulder right now. So it's just about wearing representing the badge and that's all. Yeah. The Asian Cup will come around in 2023 and you will be about 39 years of age. You've seen Daniel Bennett go the distance at 41. How far do you see your career going? When will you call it a day? To be honest, Dang, I, I set myself at 35 to be honest. When, before when I hit my 30s, I set at 35. So now I'm 35. Um, I'm I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I've already kind of planned what to do after football, but it's just that I feel like playing football right now is like during those days when I start, uh, start off, you know, at, at the void deck and stuff. So it's, it's more fun now, it's not, it's not really like so pressurised, like you have to win trebles or whatnot. So it's, it's about enjoying myself now and indirectly I feel like I can perform better. So we see, we see, there's, there's offers. The, the, I heard there's offers coming, so but yeah, we we, we see lah. We see. I'll, I'll just take a year at a time right now. Yeah.